Ti Ezenwo Yesom Wike. Your Excellency, the Minister of State, Federal Capital Authority, the Chairman, Senate Committee of the Area Councils and other ancillary matters, my dear brother, Senator Jim Kuta members of the House of Representatives that are here, distinguished senators, particularly the senator representing the River Southeast and the senator from Minibu State. Other distinguished senators that are here, former Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives, Area Council Chairman, traditional rulers that are here, Head of Service, Monday Secretaries, Permanent Secretaries that are here, our dear leaders, our dear youths, our dear beautiful women who have come here to give us support. I hope I've recognized our dear traditional fathers. The managing director of the company that's in charge of this job, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Let me first of all thank God Almighty for giving us the opportunity to be here today to flag off this very important truth. This road made up of three segments. This one leads to the Shafa village. In front of me, this way, by my right, leads to the War College. And then this way is to SCC. So there are three components of this road that gave rise to 18 kilometers. The procurement of this road started before we came into office. And it was stalled. And so we started over the procurement process. Initially, I was skeptical because my experience in government, sometimes roads are awarded where the roads are. All you see is fine for you to approve for payment. And that is one of the reasons why I said it is necessary we must go and flag all some of these roads so I will see where these roads are. Not that there are roads. So one of these days, I called the coordinator of the STD and the engineer on a Sunday. I said, where are you? He said, it's at home. I said, okay, come to my house now. I didn't tell him we were coming here. So he came with his engineer. I said, enter a vehicle. Let's go to Safa. I want to see myself. Where is called Safa? So when we came that day, I remember at this junction, there were traders. They were all looking at who is around, who came. So I said, okay, take me around. Let me see these three segments of the road you are talking about. They took me to this way, SCC. I said, okay. I said, where's the village? The city, I said, let's down, drive down. We went down. I said, where's the war college? They took me to the war college. Then we got to the express road. I felt so bad. This is where we have the law school. 
and they can't believe it that the road so terrible. In fact, if you are going to the war college, so terrible, so terrible. And then I was also skeptical about the contractor. I was like, who is this contractor? He says, an indigenous contractor. I called my chief of staff. I said, go and find the site of this contractor. Let us know what are, where are the equipment. The chief of staff came and said, snap pictures. I don't want to be told. I said, but one thing you must not do, don't work with the director of engineering services. Because if there's any conspiracy, they're the chief conspirators. So you go and find out. He went and he snapped one or two equipment. He came back and said, is it these two equipment that will do road of 18 kilometer? I don't think it will work. So I sent him, go and invite the contractor. And right by that time, the BPP had approved the award of the contract is for us to go to FEC. So the contractor came, I, I saw him, he laid down and I said, no, no, don't double anything. You, he had a contractor to do this type of job. I don't believe so. Well, people say, give him a chance. He's an indigenous contractor who must make them grow. I say, yes but you can't grow with this type of job. I don't want anybody to learn with this type of job. I want somebody that will do the job and the people will be happy. Not one will do road, will go. And the people will be abusing us. Look at the road. Within the next four months, everything has washed away. And he said he was going to do so. As I, as I was coming in, I told the person that was driving the car, I said, ah, this guy has impressed me. I've seen uh, equipment. I've seen equipment, and that makes me happy that under the administration of Aswaji Bolami Tinibu, one thing he has always emphasized is to empower our people empower our indigenous contractors who have shown capacity, who are willing to work. And I'm happy when I'm saying, because my experience has been that some of the indigenous contractors, the moment you mobilize them, the next thing you hear to go and complete their marriage ceremony, comp that for the past two years, they've not done their children naming ceremony just because mobilization has been uh, paid. I want to sincerely thank you for what I've seen. I cannot believe that yes, indeed, there are those of you who are really committed. Now let us understand, I have said before, that politics is a covenant between those that are elected and those that elected them. I said that people should hold those that were elected accountable. Those who have been appointed should be held accountable. When we came on board, I did say, when we are going around to the, all the area councils, I did say that under President Tinibu's administration, when he makes a promise, all you need to do is just to be patient that that promise or promises will be fulfilled. When I told the area councils, some of you are saying we have always had that. The coordinator has said about six or 12 roads. No, let it be known and let everybody hear it today. We have six area councils. I will stand here to tell you what President Tribu's administration has done 
in these six area councils as he came on board. And let anybody challenge us whether what we are saying is correct or not. Let the people of the area councils challenge us whether what we are saying, whether we are right or not. This is not propaganda. This is seen as a believing. Facts. When we went to Abaji, we promised the people of Abaji that we are going to do Naharati Road. Council chairman, area council chairman of Abaji, is here. Is that all going on? Are you sure? God bless our father. When we went to Amak, we told Amak people we are going to do Saburi Road. Chairman of Amak, are you here? Are we here? Is the road going on? Are you sure? You are sure? Thank you. God bless your mother. <laughs> Chairman Amak, we promise you that we are going to do Love Camp Karimu Dede Road. Is not correct? Yes, FCDA. Are you on the word of the contract now? Are you sure? God bless our family. <laughs> Kujé? Kujé? It's not here. But some of you will know. We said we are going to do dualized Tapa Garden to LEA Secretariat. Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Now, we also promise that we are going to do a nice Kujé to Gwagwanada. Is Gwagwanada chairman here? The SCD coordinator, are you here? Are you here? The process of award, is it on or not? God bless your parents. We have another local area council. When we came, I told you we'll do Paiko Ibewa Road. Is it on? Paiko Ibewa Road. It's not going on. I don't hear you. Let people hear you. It's going on. We, we agree that this story will be commissioned in December. Is it not correct? The work is going on. You are sure? God will bless your village people. <laughs> we are going to area council. We say we are going to do market roast on Agoma Palace. Are we coming to is it next tomorrow? That is my trust on Aguma Palace. God will bless all your village people. Kwale. Kwale. Are you here? We promised to do Kwetayebu Road. Is it going on? Kwetayebu Road. Is it going on? God bless you. We said we are going to do Sokuku Yogosha Road. Is it going on? It's ongoing. We said we are going to complete Ladi Kwali Road. Have we finished it? It's completed, sir. Then tomorrow, are we coming to Kwali to do what? Pai Gomani Road. Fine. Buhari. We are doing Tokulu Kawu Road. Is it going on? We say we are going to commission in December. Is it not correct? The contractors are doing very well. You will never see bad in your life. Again, today, we promise you that we are going to do Ushafa National War College Road. Is it not true? And we are here. I will not hear. 
Are we not here? Now, Ahmad, you came and cried to us that you are in the city. You said we should do Kabusa, KT Road, which is not five kilometers. Is it not true? You said we should do Kabusa, Takushara, which is 11 kilometers. Is it not correct? Yes. I want the verge of awarding it. Just on Friday, I believe Mr. President, he said, go ahead and give them. <laughs> now, the point we are making, this is just one year and some few months Mr. President has stayed in office. See what he has done in terms of infrastructure. The area council. Can you say, when he stays four years, what will happen in the area council? Can you say what will happen in four years? What will happen in the area council? My dear good people, are you not happy? Oshafa people, are you not happy? Is it not what you want? Is it not what they call governance? Is it not government to the people? Government for the people? Is it not correct? Hold on. Don't be, don't, hold, don't be too greedy. You know, when you are too greedy, things won't work. But let me tell you again what Mr. President has done to start with three area councils. We went to China. We signed a memorandum of understanding with CGC to provide water for Kwale, for Guagalada, and for Kujet to start with. Not just only providing roads. Now, Mr. President, I'm taking a step further to see that you must have portable water to drink. Has it happened before? Has it happened before? I've always told us we must appreciate when somebody does anything good for you, appreciate that will enable the person to do more. Is it not correct? Now that we are doing this road and you are supporting the road construction and we finish the road. We know we have no problem. If you ask for another thing, government will be willing to do because government believes that you have appreciated the one they have done for you. Leave those our sister Eugene Abu has said, no matter whatever you do, they will never be happy. Do you understand me? If you like, give them everything in life, they will never be happy. As far as infrastructure is concerned, by the time this administration finishes in 2027, Abuja will be a different thing altogether. <laughs> and let me say, I saw some of your people who came to the Secretariat and gave people some money and they were singing. They say, uh, could they pay zero to something like that? You know, I was happy. You know, I was happy. It means that people are now aware that government is working and everybody wants to have their own cake, to cut their own cake. Before, nobody would do that because nothing was working. And now something is going uh, on. Everybody wants to say, look, let me have my own now. Let me, nobody wants to be patient. But I can assure you, every area council will be treated very well. You don't need to worry yourself. The Renewed Hope agenda is real. You can see promise made 
promise uh, fulfilled. After all, you have lost hope that nobody will do this road. Is it not? Have you not lost hope? Have you not lost hope before now? But your hope is back. Is it not, is it not correct? That is the whole thing about renewed hope uh, agenda. I'm happy that all of us have agreed to continue to work for this government to succeed. Nigerians can see the difference. And let me commend the area council chairman. We have never had it so good. Since we are appointed as ministers, we have worked together with them. We have collaborated. And they know. And I stand to challenge anybody. Since we came as ministers, I don't even know how much they get. I've never bothered to ask myself. I'm not interested to know. I have my own allocation, they have their own allocation. And that is why I supported Mr. President and I have no apologies to anybody. I have no apologies that there should be autonomy of local government. What they do with it, let the people ask them. Let them be accountable to the people. And let us be accountable the ones that have been given to us. If you read today's papers, particularly this Nigeria, Sun newspaper, leadership newspaper, blueprint, nation, I have published names of doctors. Some of you are seated here. Go and pay your grand rent. That is what I use to do all these roads. There's no oil in Abuja. The only oil we have is pay your grand rent. So I'll be able to do all these roads. Some of you have been saying when you go to Abuja, you miss your road. You miss your road, is it amount? It's with money that we use to construct the roads that you no longer know where you are going to. So please, I urge you, let us do our own part. When you do your own part, and government does not do their, uh, do not do their own part, then you can ask questions. Ask us. Ask me of FCT. Ask me of State FCT. What are you doing with all the taxes that we are paying? Ask us. Challenge us. In the national debate, Say, we have not seen anything you are doing with the money. We will tell you what we have done and what we will continue to do with the money you have paid as your taxes. Because you have a right that when you pay a tax, you have a right to ask questions. What did you do with the money? Nobody will prosecute you for doing that. And so we are very proud and happy that our people have seen the difference, that indeed there is an impact of government and governance as far the satellite towns are concerned. Under Tribus administration, we are almost completing Karashi Apo Road. Is it not correct? Is it not correct? We are started in habitating Yaya Karu. Orozo to Karashi. Is it not going on? Is it not going on? As you are coming down here, the Duse area, the road that was done, how many years? With only one layer of asphalt. Very busy road. Now we are moving it to rehabilitate it to now do two layers of asphalt the binding and the wearing cost, and to push it like from the beginning to the end. So those who say we are concentrating in the city are those who have naturally chosen to be blind and may they not see again. Because if 
God gave you eyes. And you say, no, you don't want to see. Is it our problem? God gave me eyes. I mean, I want to see. And I'm seeing. And then you, you say, you don't want to see. Continue not to see. You are seeing that things are happening in certain times, and you are claiming nothing. Even when you pass, you see what is going on, yet you will deny it. So I want to tell all of us that we are not concentrating only in the cities. Monday to Friday last week, we were in the cities. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll be in the satellite uh, town. On Thursday, we'll be doing empowerment of the youth. Empowerment of the youth. You know, this is the first administration that talked about women and youth. It was never there before. It was Mr. President who created women secretariat and created youth secretariat. And we're happy. There's one of you today that is the youth, the mandate secretary of the youth uh, secretariat. And this is the first time that the government is coming up with a policy to empower the youth under the supplementary budget. It has never happened in the FCT. This is the first time that Mr. President insisted there must be a youth development fund on how to help the youth to grow. And Mr. President provided for a start the sum of 10 billion naira to see how the youth can be empowered. What else do you want the government to do that this government of President Tribu is not doing? So I urge all of you to continue to support the government. I know so many people are not happy. You don't expect everybody to be happy in life. We are happy that we are happy. Are you not happy? Me, I'm very, very happy. Those who are not happy, may you not be happy. <laughs> so we are happy because we have seen that there are signs that things will change for better. There are signs that things will change for better. Things were very bad. We were all forgetting. We just want miracle. We need to be patient. Just like what the Buhari chairman said, that when they said, I'm the one coming, they were crying. You're lucky. Some of you, you don't even know somebody. What was begging you to cry? Have you seen me before? <laughs> or because when you watch me on television, you say, ah, he has come, we'll run away. Hey. If you do what you run away, you run. We say we are going to fight in security. Are we not fighting in security now? We have not. Uh, we have not said we have come to the level where we say, okay, no more security. But go home and say that. Don't also say that we promise that we no form of crime. No, nowhere in this world, even in America, you saw the other day they wanted to kill uh, the, Donald Trump. Don't you see it? That look at the level, at that level, presidential level, where they have all the security. There was crime. I thank God he didn't die. So nobody should think that there will be no one form of crime or the other. No. The security agencies are doing their best. If you get the report of what they do every day, you will marvel. They are doing their best, and I thank them very well. On Friday, of course, we are going to launch another security at, uh, scheme where we are going to make sure whether you call yourself that you are not the cause. It's not my business. Stay in your state and beg. FCT cannot be sent out of beggars. 
That city cannot be the center of uh, Vegas. It's the only city we have in Nigeria to showcase the world. We will not allow that. We will not allow it. I didn't say it is good. Some of you choose to beg. Some of you choose to beg. So we will not allow that. If you want to beg, you can come to these village areas, but leave the city. The city must be clean. We are ready for the criminals. Mama, uh, begin what say, Mama, no go sleep. In go sleep. In go sleep. So, criminals, we are ready. We are very, very ready. So I thank all of you. I therefore all the Honorable Minister and the Senators to join hands with us and traditional rulers for us to flag up this Osha farm and walk college roads. The Honorable Minister makes his way with his team and his associates um, to ensure that this project is flagged off. He will mount the grader and when he comes down, there would be a group photo session after which there will be the National Assembly. The minister's site number in Buari is number 42. He wears the jacket for work and he steps into the grader for the purpose of this flag off. And once he's done and he comes down from the grader, we'll take group photographs after which we'll take the, the national anthem. The Honorable Minister of the FCT has commenced the movement of that equipment to symbolize the flagging off of this all-important road. And now he waves to the crowd and the community that have gathered here to celebrate him. As he makes his way down, I call on the cognoscente of Buari FCT and his invited guests to stand beside him for the group photograph that would be recorded for history for that moment when this event took place. Please gather around the FCT Minister for that important group photograph. And as we face the cameras for this good photograph that will symbolize this flag of Mbwari. And